This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performance does not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk and there's always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. This is the JDFN Forex Report. Good afternoon traders, Scott Norris here with your Forex Report. Today is Wednesday, November 5th, 2008. Currency has been all over the place today as the greenback tried to fight off another day of losses on the back of yesterday's decline. Daily charts certainly set the dollar up for a fall this morning after the euro, pound and several others closed yesterday on such a strong note. That did not continue in overnight trading, however, as the dollar fought back. It was not until the U.S. session got underway this morning that the greenback really sold off. Yet even that move could not hold for an entire session. After pairs like euro dollar and pound dollar broke major resistance levels, they gave up hundreds of pips, erasing much of their early progress. These ups and downs yield two things, plenty of trading opportunities and disjointed charts. The first is great thing but the latter makes it difficult for us to do any type of solid forecasting. In terms of guidance, we aren't quite sure what the next 24 hours will hold for the major currencies because charts are simply too mixed. Our best advice is to make sure you're in front of the computer as much as possible to capitalize on these great moves. On the economic front, we may be seeing a shift back to good news is good news and bad news is bad. For some time, it has been the opposite for the greenback, which has rallied on awful U.S. data because of the implications for the global economy. Now that the buck's recovery has come a long way and leveled the playing field a bit, we could see traders more hesitant to buy the dollar on bad news. For example, today's ADP report was very dismal and the dollar weakened afterwards. We are now looking at a potentially devastating government non-farm payrolls number in a couple of days. This may be cause for additional dollar weakness ahead of that release. Just keep in mind that sharp moves in either direction tend to be short-lived. We suggest booking some profits when these runs slow down until we can break from the chop. Till tomorrow, have a wonderful night trading. Take care.